What's happening people, it's James Beardwell, the Whitton Town supporter here, and welcome back to another Whitton Town FC matchday vlog. Whitton Town are away to Kirkley and Pakefield in the FA Cup first qualifying round. I am really excited for the fantastic Whitton Town away day to Kirkley and Pakefield in the FA Cup first qualifying round match. And especially, I'm delighted to say that we are finally going to be having a coach trip down to the south of Lower Stoft in Kirkley and Pakefield. And I'm really looking forward to the coach journey. And it's been a first time since several scenes ago. I think the last time we went on the coach was when the former Whitton Town manager, Adam Flint, Flinty was manager that season, but it was the first time in, since a few scenes ago that we had a coach trip for the Witten Town away day. And especially today, I am really looking forward to a fantastic coach trip to Kirkley and Pakefield in Lower Stoft. And I'm looking forward to the journey. I'm really excited. And now... I'm about to come away to the Whitton Town Football Club to get ready for the coach trip for the Whitton Town FA Cup first qualifying round match away day to Kirkley and Payfield for the Whitton Town away match very shortly. I'm currently now on my way to the Whitton Town Football Club to get ready to board the coach to be on our way for the Whitton Town away match to Kirkley and Pakefield in the FA Cup first qualifying round match. I'm really excited for the journey and I'm feeling 100% confident that Whitton Town can go one better than last season because last year we was away to Burke Hampstead and lost 2 1 and we were robbed that day. But we're going to focus more on today's away match to Kirkley and Pakefield in the FA Cup first qualifying round match. I'm buzzing already for the game and especially I'm buzzing for the brilliant coach journey to the south of Lower Stoft and it should be a, a most amazing journey. I'm really excited for the day and like we say the most important thing is we're going to enjoy the day but I am 100% confident to make it sweeter for Whitton Town to get a win away to Kirkley and Pakefield. And we've got to be confident 100% to be absolutely sure and hopefully get the victory. And you never know. And as long as the Whitton Town players are putting in 110% in, and we're going to always get behind the Whitton Town players and the staff and the Whitton Town manager Gary Kimball and we're going to keep singing throughout the whole 90 minutes and we might even do a little sing song on the coach on the way and coming back as well <laughs> we might even have a sing song on the coach <laughs> but yeah we're really looking forward to the day and we're going to enjoy the day win lose or draw enjoy the day I'm really excited and it should be the most amazing day out and but we're gonna have a sing song on the coach hopefully as well it'll be superb and i'm really confident whitton town get a win to make it sweeter away to kirkley and patefield and let's hope it'll be, a, it'll be a fantastic afternoon I'm currently now arrived at the Whitton Town Football Club for Breakfast Club. I know it's early in the morning because we're due to leave at 10 up to Kirkley and Patefield. Now I've arrived at the Whitton Town Football Club to have a bit of breakfast at Breakfast Club. And I've got the usual full English breakfast. And now I'm going to enjoy my breakfast before getting on the coach for the Whitton Town away match. And I'm going to enjoy my cup of tea as well. I'm going to enjoy my breakfast and I'll be on the coach very shortly for the Whitton Town away day. 
I'm currently now just finished my breakfast up at the Whitton Town Football Club and I'm now about to get ready to board the coach to be on my way to Kirkley and Pakefield for the Whitton Town away match. I'm really looking forward to the game and we're looking forward to a fantastic day out. All right, guys, you looking forward for today? Yes. Okay, you looking forward to the game? Yes. You? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's buzzing. You looking forward to the game? Buzzing. Excellent. You looking forward to the game? Yeah. Superb. Looking forward to the game today? Oh, man. Looking forward to it. Buzzing, man. Excellent. Big journey, long journey, big game. Superb. Uh, we went out this year, last year, this round, we went out. First qualifying round. Yeah. So, hoping to do one better this year. Hopefully Superb. Yeah. Are you looking forward to the game? Yeah, ready for it. Ready. Ready. Yeah, we're ready as well. It should be a great day. Yeah, it should be a good day. It should be a good game. Hi, James. How are you, right, James? Looking forward to the game today? I am, mate. Yep, really looking forward to it. It should be amazing. I'm looking forward to it. Good. Excellent. I'm now with the fellow Whitsum Town supporters, Callum and Ben. All right. Hi, James. Guys, you excited for the long journey on the coach for the first time since a few scenes ago for a really good journey? Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It should be a great day out. Win, lose or draw. We go on the coach with the players. It can, you can ask them much more than that, could you? 100%. And the most important thing is we're going to enjoy the day, whatever happens. But it'll be nice to get a win as it's a bonus. But the most important thing is we're going to enjoy the day, won't we? What do you think, Ben? I think that... Like what is said, like we just go out there, try our best. We got a coach, so I think it'll be a good day out, whatever the score, win, lose or draw. And I just think hopefully we can win and get into the next round, fingers crossed. Thank you guys so much for your time. And now we're going to enjoy the journey. Up, up, up the town! Dips back, dips back. Dips back. Dips back. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Dip. Anywhere we go, anywhere we go. One, two, three, four. We turn a massive. Everywhere we go, we turn a massive. Everywhere we go, everywhere we go. Ole, ole. Wait up town 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 one Gary Kimball there's only one Gary Kimball 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 Gary Kimball's Barmy Army. Go on, Army. Gary Kimball's Barmy Army. White and Gold Army. Gary Kimball's Barmy Army. I told you I got it mixed up here. Gary Kimball's Barmy Army. White and Gold Army. Gary Kimball's Barmy Army. White and Gold Army. Gary Kimball's Barmy Army. White and Gold Army. Gary Kimball's Barmy Army. We're currently now just leaving the Whitton Town Football Club to get ready for the Whitton Town FA Cup first qualifying round match away to Kirkley and Payfield. And here we've got the fellow Whitton Town supporters, Ben and Callum. Hi, James. All right, James. Guys, are you buzzing? Yeah. Oh, mate, it's great. You know, Looking forward to it. It's so good to be on the coach, you know, with the players. Other fans, it's going to be a great day out regardless of the result. Definitely 100% and we're going to enjoy the day, won't we? I can. The question is if we can win. We'll make the atmosphere amazing on the way back. 100%. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to sing on the way back. To get a win will be sweeter yeah. and it'll be a bonus. But the most important is we're going to enjoy the day. But hopefully come away with to win the tie, hopefully. I think, yeah, they're, they're not a decent team. But I think we've got the capabilities of beating them. So I think we could win this. 2-3-1 Yeah, I go 2-0 Whitton Town 2-0 Whitton Town as well Excellent I'm now with the other Whitton Town supporters Paul and Sam Hello mate 
Guys, are you looking forward to the game? Yeah, looking forward to a good coach journey. Hopefully a good game and we get a good result, it'll be a good journey back as well. 100% superb. Soak it away. Farewell, get us away. Woo! 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 Woo!
need to just play really well as a team and get that ball in the back of the net. The goals win matches, and if you don't score, they don't win matches. And now we're coming to the score predictions. What's your score prediction, Laura? Well, you know, I want to say 2 0, but in my heart, I think we're going to win it by 1 0. But I want to say 2 0. What's your score prediction, mate? 2 1. Two one. I'm going 2 0 Whitton Town. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for your time. Up the town! Up the town! Up the town. Excellent. <laughs> and now with the another fellow Whitton Town supporter, Callum. Hello, James. Hi, Callum. And did, did you enjoy the journey on the coach? Yeah, it was a, it was great to be on the coach to see me, and it was a very enjoyable experience to be able to come up on the coach with the players. But now let's let's hope we can get get a free get a victory. Yeah, as long as the Whitton Town players put in 110% in, and just like Rick said, the first half was really good and the second half was really poor, but we've got to focus on today's game and hopefully get the victory, hopefully. Yeah, we should beat them, they're obviously a league below us, but I think it'll be a tough game, but I think we'll come away with uh, the win and being happy for the next round. 100% and we're really confident as Whitton Town supporters that we hope to get the job done and I believe we can do it. Yeah, I think we'll get the job done. I think we'll win and I think hopefully we can uh, get be in the hat for the, the next round and try and get as far as we can and get as more money to the club as possible. And now we're coming to the score predictions. What's your score prediction, Callum? We'll scrape it 2-1 to the win. I go 2 near Whitton Town. Thank you so much for your time, Callum, and up the town. Up the, up town. the town! Love that. <laughs> I'm now with the another Whitton Town supporter, Ben. All right. Ben, did you enjoy the journey on the coach? Yes, I did. It was an amazing journey and it went very well. It was amazing. We had a good sing song on the coach and the players joined in as well. And it's, it's fantastic, isn't it? Mm, yeah. It's brilliant to have like team up bonding with the fans and the players as well. Just all get together as one big family as a football club. So come down and support the boys. And hopefully we can just win and get in the next hat for the next round. 100%. And now we're coming to the score prediction. What's your score prediction? I say 2 0 Whitton Town. I go 2 0 Whitton Town the same as well. Thank you so One, much for your two, time, three, Ben. Winter of a massive, everywhere we go. Winter of a massive, everywhere we go. Everywhere we go. One, two, three, four. Winter of a massive, everywhere we go. Winter of a massive, everywhere we go. Everywhere we go. Up the town. Up the town. Up the town. <laughs> We turn town, 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 we love you, we turn, we do, we love you, we turn, we do, we love you, we turn. We do, oh, we do, we love you. We love you, we do. We turn town, we turn town, we turn town. I'm now with the another fellow Whitton Town supporter, Paul. Hello, mate. Paul, did you enjoy the journey on the coach? Yeah, really nice trip down, wasn't it, on the coach here. Yeah, nice to have a bit of a change of routine instead of driving. Uh, yeah, nice journey down, sun shining, looking forward to the game. Yeah, we're really looking forward to it and we hopefully come away with a win because it'll be sweet to come away with a win. And But we're really confident that we're going to do it and as long as the players putting 110% in. Yeah, let's hope the boys do, a, uh, do us proud today. Um, it makes such a difference for a club if we can get a bit of a cup run going in terms of money. You've seen what happened to East Starwreck as well. You know, some of the smaller clubs live on the knife edge a little bit. So cup run would be not only good for morale, but also good for the, the kitty as well. So yeah, let's hope the boys do well today. 
Yeah, I feel really sorry for East Falak United who got into liquidation. I feel really sorry for their fans and staff and wish them well and all the very best of the future. But today's game for us away to Kirkley and Patefield and I'm confident we're going to do it. And like I said, as long as the players put 110% in. Yeah, we're going to need maximum effort because a cup game, we know that they're going to be up for it. Um, I think if we play as well as we did the first half against Walthamstow and uh, the game before that, then I think we'll be all right. But yeah, like you say, the boys need to be 100% committed. We need to match them for effort. And I think then our technical quality should take care of itself. But yeah, we, we need to match them for effort. Yeah, especially like like we did really well in the first half. It was a really good first half against Brighton Sea Region. If we play like that, and I believe we can do it. Yeah, that was a really promising first. Second half wasn't as good, was it? But the first half, I thought we were a much better team. We played really well. And uh, yeah, probably deserves uh, well, at least a point out of that game. But um, yeah, let's hope the boys put in a good shift today. And now we're coming to the score predictions. What's your score prediction, Paul? Uh, so I'll go 2-1 uh, with him. I'll be optimistic. I'll go 2 0 Witten Town. So we can get a cup run on the go. Definitely. Thank you so much for your time, Paul, and up the town. Come on, Witten. Up the town. and town great start come on yes Callum. yes yes ben yes come on james with jeffrey clover jeffrey clover jeffrey clover jeffrey clover jeffrey clover I was in. I think he's in one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. It was on one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper and scored. One-one. One-one. Well cleared. Good tackle. Just wide. The half time score Kirkley and Patefield 1, Whitton Town 1. And here we got the fellow Whitton Town supporters Callum, Ben, Paul, Sam, Laura, and Rick. Hello, mate. Hello, James. Right. Guys, it was a really positive start, and we could have been at least 2 or 3 nil up, and then. Fairlock gave us a go before half time, conceded the, 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 draw, the half time draw, and we could have scored like three, but what needs to improve? Well, we've done, we've done.
done well. We played well in the first half, but then we just dropped off a little bit. The rest have been appalling. Some of the fouls that he was giving for them were not free kicks, in my opinion. We should have had a couple of fouls that he hasn't given. But apart from that, we've been the better team. And we should, could have had two or three, as you said, but one all, it's not the worst. We just need to come out in the second half and get a couple more goals and put this to bed. And what was your thoughts, man? Uh, I thought, well, the same what Callum said, it's the record has been just rubbish. The ref has just been not on our side. I think he's given stuff now and then, but every time they fall down, it seems like they just keep saying, oh yeah, free kick to them, free kick to them, but hopefully we do well and hopefully smash snatch a last minute winner hopefully what was your thoughts Paul yeah I thought we played first 15 minutes I thought we looked really good the intensity was good uh, we looked much the better side and then after that we sort of dropped off the pace a little bit they came back into it a little bit more and it was a, a lot more even for the remaining sort of half an hour of the game uh, yeah I think this has been very stop start as well the match the referees giving free kicks every time someone goes to ground so difficult to get any rhythm going but yeah I think the first 15 minutes were good if we can keep that up second half we'll be all right What's your thoughts, Sam? Yeah, it's been all right. I mean, first 20 was all right. We got a goal, which we deserved. And then we just kind of sat back for some reason. I'm not sure why. We could have definitely uh, got another couple. But, um, yeah, I don't know. We just need to come out again in the second half and hopefully get a few more. What's your thoughts, Law and Rick? Yeah, just about the same, really. We should be nearly two or three new up, really, shouldn't we? Well, yeah. but we need someone to score goals. Come on, let's get a strike at least and not give silly free kicks away like we did in the last 10 minutes here. Just hold, hold the play up and play football. Yeah, we had, we had a lot of possession, but we should be like, James said, free up at least at half time. Thank you guys so much for your time and let's hope we do better in the second half yeah. and keep the faith and up the town. Up, up the, the town! town. Keep the faith work. To injury time, please hold on to the victory, please, town. Oh, my days! Oh, my days! You got this! You got this! Please, town, please hold on to this victory so we can have a sing song on the coach. Come on, town! Yes! Yes, Laura! Yes! 
Yes, yes, Rick. Yeah, come, yes. Yes. Come, on, come on, town. 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 Come on, 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 Well done, boys! Well done, Liam. Well done. Well done, Joe. Well done, Matthew. Well done. Well done, mate. Well done, James. Well, Gary Kimball. There's only one Gary Kimball. Well, Gary. 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 Well, Whitsam Town 2! Come on! Come on! on. Whitsam are massive! Everywhere we go! Whitsam are massive! Everywhere we go! Everywhere we go! One, two, three, four! Whitsam are massive! Everywhere we go! Whitsam are massive! Everywhere we go! What a brilliant first half! It was um, it was amazing, and we managed to like hold on to the victory. And like, he was so nervy, we managed to like hold on to the victory, didn't we? Yeah. We did, we did. They're holding the flag back then. Yeah. <laughs> what was your thoughts? Yeah, like you say, nervy towards the end, but I thought we were the better side. I think we deserved to win that. Uh, boys did well in the second half, kept the energy levels going. They didn't really create much. Uh, uh, and I think we were the best team won, so I think, yeah, deserve victory. So, well done, boys, and on to the next round. Uh, what's your thoughts, Ben? I think, well, second half was a bit edgy, but we got the win and that all that matters. Bring on the next round! Bring yeah, on bring anyone! On, bring anybody on! <laughs> what's your thoughts, Laura? Yeah, we got the win, that's all that matters. At the end of the day, we're into the next round, so that's all that matters. So. Bring anybody on. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for your time. Cheers, and journey home, everybody. Yeah, journey. Up the town. Up the town. Up the town. Oh. We turn the massive. Everywhere we go. We turn the massive. Everywhere we go. I'm now with the fellow Whitsam Town supporter Callum and with the Kirkley and Patefield supporter. What's that? Lewis. Lewis. Sorry. I try to get everybody to remember try to remember everybody's name. Um, Lewis, um, unlucky for today and like you played really well and you had a good go at us in the second half and I thought I thought you were about to snatch a late equaliser, but but unlucky to you and Wish you all the best for the season. Cheers, appreciate it. Well, I, like I said before the start of the game, obviously because I don't need him that far down the road. Well, and I've told um, him as well. Our season there so far hasn't been too bad. Well, squad is a bit weak. There's some areas I think we should improve in. Manager's good. Um, he, there, there's some points where he said basically the team needs to get better. But like, like you lot said earlier, the best team what did win today and I did think that we were going to get a draw out of them and if we did then fair enough but obviously well done to you lot you really, thank really you. do deserve it I appreciate it thank you so much and uh, good luck for the rest of the season you really really are a good team thank you so, so much I appreciate that and what's your thoughts Callum I thought it was a good game I thought both teams were right I thought we edged it slightly but no Kirky played very well so based on how we played today I'm sure they will one of these struggles in their league but that was tough for us. I thought it was going to be tough, and it was, but I think Whitham just edged it a bit and deserved the win. Thank you guys so much for your time, and I wish you all the very best for the new season. Mm -hmm. And 
Up the town. Up the town. Up the town. Up. I'm now with the Whitton Town players, Jeffrey and Ollie. You right, James? You right, James? How are you? Good, thank you. What is your thoughts on the game against Kirkley and Patefield away in the FA Cup first qualifying round? Um, I thought first 20 minutes we were bang on it. I thought we played really well, got an early goal, and I think we could have definitely got more if we put our chances away. Next 25, we probably come off the boil a little bit and probably struggled, probably should have kept our standards. Second half, we raised it again, but I still think we could have done better, even though we got the goal to put us through. But we're through to the next round, so see what brings out Monday. Yeah. The Whitton Town supporters have been superb throughout the whole 90 minutes as always and a win is a win, isn't it? I mean, yeah, I mean, a win's a win. I mean, the Whitton supporters have been amazing, honestly. It's about a two and a half hour journey and we've got a lot of um, following and fans that have come today. So, I mean, without them, I mean, the club is nothing. So, I mean, I appreciate all the support from fans. Thank you guys so much for your time and we'll enjoy the journey home on the coach. Yes, we will. Yes. Cheers, James. Thanks. So, thank you, James. We're currently now just leaving the club to be on the way back on the coach for our happy journey home with a victory. Yes. <laughs> That's a superb victory for Whitton Town. And just like I said from the start, that was a fantastic victory. And it's sweet to come away with a victory with a fantastic journey. And that was a bonus for us. And it was amazing. We really enjoyed the day. And even one better, Van the One Light, we enjoyed the day. And but this is really really special, and now we're just making our way to get back on the coach for yep. a very happy journey home Def up the town. Definitely got to be a good journey home. We've won, we made it a lot harder than it should have been, but we got the got the victory, and that's all that matters. Yeah, one hundred percent up the town. Up the town. Yeah, mate. Hi. Jeffrey Clover, 
Jeffrey Clover, another Jeffrey Clover, another Jeffrey Clover, another Jeffrey Clover, Jeffrey Clover, another Jeffrey Clover. There's only one Jack Sibley. There's only one Jack Sibley. Walking along, singing a song. Walking in the Sibley Wonderland. There's only one Jack Sibley. There's only one Jack Sibley. Walking along, singing a song. Walking in the Sibley Wonderland. There's only one James Big World. There's only one James Big World. Walking along, singing a song. Walking in the Big World Wonderland. Superb. Let's all have a disco. Let's all have a disco. La, 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 la. Thanks. Take care. Take care. We're ride back. I'm currently now a ride back at the Whitton Town Football Club safely, and it's been a fantastic journey, and we really enjoyed the journey. And it's even sweet to come away with a 2 1 victory, and what a superb day! And I'm so happy, it brings me lots of happiness. And roll on to the next round. Hope you enjoyed today's Whitton Town FC match day vlog. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment down below on my YouTube channel, James Beardwell. Whitton Town's next match is away to Ipswich Wanderers on Tuesday the 5th of September. Up the town! <laughs>